come along to the vlog. It's definitely a runny egg Sunday kind of day, don't you think? So what we're going to be doing this morning is sweeping this out. As you can see, the snow has melted and the base has dried out significantly for us to start reinforcing the legs for one underneath. A couple of screws in there, I think, as well to hold this down. Then we're going to put some of this lino stuff that we got yesterday on the base and then cover it in the visqueen and put some sawdust on and then hopefully get the chickens in here today. We've also got to make a chicken drinker mechanism and a feeder of some type. We might not get round to those today yet so we can just transfer the ones that we've got in the pen already across if needs be. But first, yeah, I think I'd better do the supports on the legs underneath before I do that because I'm going to have to screw down. So, it would have obviously been a lot easier to do this whilst I was building the frame but it was snowing and I wanted to get this up as quick as possible so that means I've kind of dropped a bollock a little bit but never mind let's get these on I know it's a bit awkward but once they're in they're in that's a bent screw I don't know why I'm using the bloody bent screw that one's not there we go so that's that brace it's not knocking that way a touch to square it up a bit more than that and then yeah I've got four more of these to do so we've got the braces on and after my fair share of wrestling, we've managed to get the uh, the plastic on the bottom of the bottom of the coop tucked up into the sides. Should create kind of a well a waterproof barrier, I guess. Fingers crossed it don't fill up with water and it composts like it should, provided I provide them with enough sawdust or shavings. Just got to do a little bit of trimming around the door, but tucked up onto this edge as well along here. But for all intents and purposes, purposes, that should catch all the litter and allow me to run a deep bed system. Got a nice hop up into the nest boxes there, and then those screws on the side coming out of that spar there for the roost, which will be running from this side to the other. They can jump up and roost over over the droppings bed I guess so uh, yeah I'll go and trim that section up we'll put the roost in and then we'll start we'll maybe start transferring the chickens over So I had a few bags of leaves that we swept up in the autumn, which I've been saving for this. Throwing them on the deck in here just to cover a little bit of that mud up. And the bedding is nicely spread now. I'm actually going to close up the nest boxes so they don't make a mess of their litter. Because they're not laying at the minute, so that'll prevent them sleeping in the nest boxes and hopefully they'll use the roosts more frequently and then we'll open that up in a couple of weeks time I'm going to see if I can get in touch with the farmer who collects the grain from us Richard and uh, see if I can get a couple of hay bales or straw bales to put in there I think that'll look nice and it'll also when it breaks down keep the mud down a little bit and then I was going to transfer these girls now just uh, so I can do it on camera but Gemma's put a load of veg in there for them so I'm going to let them eat first and I might transfer them tomorrow, we shall see. So we're in work. 
had to go up to tool station to pick some bits up so I've got some pipe a piece of guttering and I've fitted a little tank connector there I've also fitted a John Guest 15 mil pipe push fit there on one of these um, inspection trap things for solvent weld, solvent weld waste pipe and here we have some gutter clips end cap some elbows and what we're going to be making is a chicken drinker so rainwater off the roof through the pipe through some 15 mil pipe into a water butt then out the water butt into the waste and then this section of waste here is going to have these little chicken drinkers they're called chicken nipples believe it or not which is odd because chickens don't have nipples anyway I can't get into the bag one I did you'll see what I mean in a minute so I'm just going to cut a section of this pipe and cap both ends off like that one end is going to have a feed of water in from the water butt chicken nipples all the way along and the other end just a solid cap and then obviously I can unscrew it to clean it if need be or whatever we need to do and then just bolt this to the side of the chicken pen so I've just drilled a series of 9mm holes and you just screw these little chicken drinkers in or the nipples and uh, the chickens come along and wiggle the little bit around and a drop of water comes out for them and this is mounted on the wall with like the nipples hanging down and then the water pressure pushes both of these stainless steel rods to the bottom and prevents any leaks very simple and very effective so I'm just going to pop a little bit of PVC cement around each one of these holes screw these little beauties in they've got a little rubber gasket on there but just to be double sure and then we'll uh, take it all home and give it a whirl and there they are that was a little tricky to get them all started but once we got them started they're fine a little bit of the PVC cement on each one just to extra seal that little gasket under there and then if we look down the inside they should all be uh, all but one of them moves there's one stuck down there so we'll have a look see if that can get freed up yeah I should be able to reach it from down here but uh, well there's one way of testing it let's take it home and put some water in well I suppose I better grab a little bit of video before the light goes and it's about to so roof gutter I'll move them bits rainwater into barrel if barrel is empty I might fit a sight glass to this at some point then we can just put the hose pipe in the gutter and fill it back up and then out the bottom through the netting over to yonder side hello Reginald so let's go in and have a look so yeah the pipe runs along the side of the pen and then across to the 40 mil waste with nine chicken nipples installed and hopefully this time tomorrow functioning I'm going to leave them overnight for the solvent cement to go off and then we'll fill it up with water I'm hoping that we don't get any airlocks because this pipe's running a little bit up and down mainly because of the position obviously of the barrel with it being on the outside I wanted it on the outside so the chickens didn't sit on the top and foul it all and then there's just this pipe coming in here I was also hoping to put their food here but obviously that is now in the way so that's kind of a no I, I could if I wanted to put that barrel at the other end spin the guttering round so it fed into the barrel at the other side run the pipe along the back wall and then have the feeder there still we'll see we might do that in the future I don't know but as it stands now I'll just use their old feeder when I bring them in you think it's a dog pen don't you Reg 
but yeah plenty of space in here now for the chicks to roam around we'll come back tomorrow <laughs> and hopefully get it up and running I might do the chicken feeder tomorrow as well we'll see anyway I suppose we'll say goodbye and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one you soppy sod reg. what are you like oh my gosh go on then get out of <laughs>